Hey guys, what's going on? I'm D Murph and welcome to my Tasty Food Channel. Today we're going to be making an awesome guacamole. So this is a recipe I originally got from Pre Pre. We've changed it slightly. It is absolutely amazing. Check it out. This guacamole is so easy to make. It's slightly different than most of the recipes you've probably seen. You know me, I love flavor, I love spice, so we add a little extra to it. This dish is awesome. You can make it for a party. People will be so impressed with you. It's fun to enjoy and share. Also, you know, if you're just feeling it, you can make it for yourself. Uh, I've done that a few times when I'm craving some guac. I'm crazy about guac, and this is by far one of my favorite recipes that you can make right in your own kitchen. So what do we use to make this rockin' guacamole? Just a few simple ingredients. The star of this show will be our avocados. So this is four large avocados and they are slightly soft so you'll get them. Just, uh, just a little bit of resistance when you push. You don't want them like super soft or else you know the avocado's bad. Um, a really hard avocado is also difficult to work with. Then a cilantro, that I would call that about a handful of cilantro. I love flavor like you guys know so I use this might be a little bit much, um, but for me that's the perfect amount. Then two slices of onion, I'm gonna chop and dice that up. Then you just need actually half a lime. So half a lime, I've really enjoyed the flavor of half a lime. That works even in smaller recipes, but I've realized if you use two, you're really gonna get a strong lime flavor. Then some simple ingredients. We have garlic powder. You're more than welcome to use fresh garlic. I use garlic powder to get that easiness in there. Then you'll have fresh cracked peppercorn. We have some just regular salt, and I put in just a dash of olive oil. I don't put in much, but I like my guacamole to be a little more like a sauce, and so I add olive oil to sauce it up. For utensils, you'll need one bowl to mix and mash, you'll need a knife to chop and dice and slice, and then you'll need a fork to mush away. So first, before we get into the avocados, I'm just gonna prep the onion and prep the cilantro uh, really easy, just nice, even, small pieces here. I want some fairly small squares. That's what I'm working for. Some square onion. Um, something like that. That's, uh, if you break it, see? That's a pretty easy piece to work with. And then so you just slice it one way and then you very closely slice it another way. And this is pretty much ready to go. Be sure to curl your fingers so you have those when you're done slicing. <laughs> Especially when you get close to that knife. All right, then a few cross slices to bring it down a little bit in size. Get any stragglers. Bam, there we go. Next, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing for the cilantro. What I do is I break off the stems. So you know how there's that longer bit? I just break it off so you get mostly leaves. A little bit of stems okay. But that helps with texture and also with flavor. And there's just a little more flavor in the leaves. Now the stems do have a nice little crunch to them, so it's not a horrible crime if you keep those in there. And just work it a few times. Oh, I smell that cilantro. Now some people hate cilantro. Cilantro is like either you love it or you hate it. So if you hate it and you don't want to hate it, then you can just omit this. Okay, so as you see it's starting to get chopped up pretty finely. That's all we want. We don't want to go too fine with the cilantro or you'll really taste it. And that's that's our prep. Next, we just gotta get into these avocados. Now this is the part you really wanna see, right? How do you manage an avocado? Because this can be a little bit difficult. So uh, you just make a slice right in the middle, turn it around like that. I just run the knife through very smoothly. And then you can even push just a little bit so it gets a bite on the seed. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Bam, there you go. Avocado is ready to roll. And your knife already has a little bit of the seed, so ideally, if the seed's not too soft, you can just pull down and out comes your seed. And then I go over to the trash and just kung fu it till this thing flies off. That part we're not demoing for your safety. So next, some people just go in there, scoop it, pop it in the bowl. Um, what I like to do is I put little lines in them. See like that? And be very careful because that knife can go through the avocado layer and hit your hand if you put too much pressure on. So only if you feel comfortable doing this, um, just gently slide that knife through. You can also use a butter knife um, for a little less resistance. There we go. And you can do this as many times as you want. It'll just make mashing easier. And so I like a, a crisscross and then I hit a diagonal just very quickly like that. 
Now, don't get too mad at me. I did actually omit one piece in the earlier recipe. You will need a spoon. Well, you don't really need a spoon. A spoon will help you a whole lot with getting the deliciousness out of these avocados. And you just scoop it right along the shell or the skin or whatever the heck you call that black nastiness of the avocado that you don't want to eat. <laughs> there you go. And this is pretty much ready to be mashed. Um, we just got to do the rest. And just a tip, sometimes you need to look out for this um, little part of the avocado because sometimes that falls out. Um, I didn't have that problem with the first one, so these will all probably be pretty good. I've had that happen with my avocados before though. Just a point of safety as we're halfway through. Um, since we're putting a sharp knife through and that skin is pretty easy to puncture like that, um, if you have any concerns, just use a butter knife or something that's a whole lot less sharp. Um, you know, you definitely have to be gentle when you're going through with a sharp knife. I've never poked my hand with it before, but that's not saying it can't happen. And also with the seed, you know, as I use the knife to, to kind of get it and then pop it out, um, that also is a potential area where uh, safety could be in question. So if you're not comfortable with that either, just use your spoon to get it out. Um, you know, use a fork and poke it and kind of work it out. Just do what's most comfortable for you. I'm very comfortable slicing into it with these in my hand. I'm not worried that I'm gonna cut myself. Uh, I'm very careful, I'm very gentle, um, but if this is your first time, please, please, please go easy on yourself. I don't want any comments down below saying I cut my hand open trying to make a delicious bowl of avocado guacamole. Yep, see, one of them broke off. And just for demo purposes, butter knife and avocado, because I'm really encouraging you guys not to hurt yourselves when you're making this recipe. Super easy, just like the sharp knife. 10 times safer. Look at that probably does an even better job and you don't have to worry about your guacamole having a little bit of uh, ew, human blood in there. There we are. Okay, so now that we are ready to start ma mashing, you know, it's mashing time. Um, we're just gonna throw on some seasonings, throw on our cilantro, throw on our lime juice, the onions, or you know, if you wanna do tomatoes, anything else you wanted to add that was bulk to this, we'll go later. And for a recipe of this size, I would say, I always eyeball it, but I would say do about, um, you know, a tablespoon and a half, maybe a tablespoon, we'll go with a tablespoon of uh, garlic powder and salt. Salt is probably a little more like a um, teaspoon. There we go. Because you don't want to overdo the salt. You can always check it later. Garlic's a little more forgiving. Um, if you overdo the salt, you can't get rid of it, right? Um, then pepper. Pepper is, I love pepper, and you can usually do a nice even coating over the bowl. This is a large bowl, I will give it a little extra. There we go. Pepper's forgiving too, so don't worry too much about that. I'll just go easy on the salt to taste, okay? Um, next, like I said, I like using the olive oil, so just literally just a little bit of olive oil, just a little splash there. Um, lime is gonna be half a lime, and squeeze it really good right because you'll need pretty much all the juice of half a lime in a large bowl there we go if it was less i might not squeeze as much of the lime juice right if we were only doing like two um of the large avocados or three i would keep it about the same i'd only squeeze about half the lime or three-fourths of the lime but since we're doing a large bowl you get all that juice in there and last but not least all this yummy cilantro. And that probably looks like a lot of cilantro, but it will be okay. There we go. And one thing about that lime juice, I've actually tested this before and the lime juice helps break down the avocado a little bit. Lime is acidic, so I assume that's why I'm no scientist. Um, but if you don't use lime, you'll notice it's a little bit thicker. There we go. So then you just, with your fork, I like using like a steak fork, just start mashing. And mixing isn't a big concern at this point. You just want to start crushing down that avocado. There we go, as you can see. And you keep it on the edge. All right, so now that we got this, this is a fun stage in your guacamole adventures because if you want to add chunks of cheese in there, if you want to add onion, if you want to add chopped up jalapeno or tomato, now is a good time because it won't get infused into the guacamole. Like I'm about to add some onion here and see if I did this when I was crushing, then all of this guacamole would just have that onion taste. But this gives it a nice texture 
And then the onion taste is, is, um, is not so overwhelming. <laughs> I learned that lesson the hard way. Um, but yeah, you just, any chunks, any big stuff, just add that at the end, especially if you want it to keep its shape and its texture, right? You're gonna have a lot less crunch if you mush the onion up. Okay guys, one last step. And this is only if you're really trying to impress folks at your dinner party, or if there's a girl or a boy that you really want to impress, just get a, a red pepper about this thick. Um, it can be a little bit thinner, but I wouldn't go much thicker. And then you just slice off a few bits like that. And you want them whole, and so it's like a circle, right? So I'll put those there. What in the world are we about to do? Maybe we'll go with three. Let's try three here. So then you can just put them in your guacamole. Ooh. Look at that pop. Bam. You got a beautiful garnish making it pop. All right, guys, we got our taste tester, Pri Pri, over here. Mm -hmm. Chips and guacamole. Let's see what happens. Don't you wish you had my job? Taste tester. Hopefully, it's a good job. Mmm. All right. Nailed it. <laughs> it worked. Nailed. I was worried it'd be a little too salty. Oh. Woo. No. Wiping some sweat off my brow. <laughs> Uh, are you going to tell them this is my recipe? Uh, I already told them it's your recipe. We okay, just changed sorry. it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is actually perfection. Two chips. That's perfect. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, guys, if you liked this recipe and if you want other recipes, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a like and also be, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. All right. Thanks, Pri Pri. Thank Bye. you. Bye.